Local relief is being promised to Detroiters severely impacted by extreme flooding from recent storms. Today, Mayor Mike Duggan held a press conference with FEMA to stress that a denial of a claim may not be a final answer. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette has the crucial info meant to help people in the Detroit area recover. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan is adamant that a denial of a FEMA claim can happen for a variety of reasons and filing an appeal could still result in you getting financial assistance. If you get that first um, uh, letter that says you're not eligible, uh, we're going to talk about it because in many cases they need more information and you can still get the grant. Speaking to Detroiters and people in the surrounding Metro Detroit area, Mayor Mike Duggan aiming to clarify rules FEMA is following to determine which flooding damage claims can be approved. The FEMA rules say essential living space basically is main floor kitchens, bathrooms, occupied bedrooms. Since severe floods ravaged Metro Detroit, countless stories have surfaced of Detroiters being denied assistance. However, the mayor says FEMA has already raised 29 million for the city and 50 million for Southeast Michigan. FEMA. As for FEMA crews visiting residential areas, he says be aware that COVID rules will not allow them to enter into homes. Also consider these five points. One, the only event covered is the storm of June 25th to 26th. Two, FEMA only covers what's needed to make it safe and livable, such as furnaces and water heaters, not all losses. Three, FEMA is for uninsured or underinsured people. Four, denial is not final and more information could be needed. And five, the deadline is September 13th. In many cases, denials are not final and are simply the result of mistaken info, such as location and ownership. And paperwork must be filled out in detail to satisfy requirements. Also, there are in-person help centers up and running where FEMA can walk you through the process. So make sure to have pictures or video and receipts. Locations for help are the Go Lightly Tech Center and the Kemeny Rec Center, both in the city of Detroit. But FEMA is stressing they will not replace non-essential furniture or things like entertainment centers. This is not an insurance policy. I know a lot of people thought, well, FEMA's on the ground, it's going to replace. I had my basement, it was a man cave. If you have insurance, keep copies of all your forms, plus save all FEMA login information to track progress. Remember, if you get a letter saying you're ineligible, check it carefully for the reason and appeal within 60 days. SBA loans are also available for business owners and landlords, and renters can get relocation assistance. All that said, some Metro Detroiters like Danielle Ryan in Gross Point Farms are still striking out. These images of her basement show damage FEMA denied based on her insurance coverage and the area not considered essential. Our entire basement was deemed non-essential because nobody lives down there. We paid thousands of dollars out of pocket for exposed asbestos as a result of this flood. FEMA and the city of Detroit both have additional information available to get help. We put that on our website, WXYZ.com. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.